Peter Balker here and welcome to today's edition of The Transition Guy. Now joining me back in the studio is Shannon Susco and she's actually going to be talking to us about her up and coming book, Metronomics. Welcome Shannon. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be back. So Super a third book. I know. Who, who would have ever thought? You know, I have the shortest uh, thesis in the history of my school for my master's degree, and now I'm out writing books. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Now, the, the timing of your book is actually quite special and quite deliberate, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, you know, it really comes out of, um, I, I celebrate 10 years of coaching uh, in June, actually, and it comes out of combining that experience with my experience of, you know, leading, growing, and uh, successfully exiting high growth companies. So people will say, well, didn't you not cover everything that you knew in both the metronome effect and three highway? Yes, I wish I did, actually. <laughs> so you know, it's, it's a bit of an interesting journey in how these books came out, because when you're in it, even as a CEO or a coach, when you're in it, we all have our ways of doing things. We all have our systems. And as I progressed and learned from other coaches um, and learned with those coaches, uh, I learned that we did something pretty special. Uh, with our leadership team and the companies that we grew up. And the metronome effect really um, articulated a prescriptive way to grow an execution system and a cash system. And, you know, we were, you know, that, those were the first systems we learned. And they're the first systems that most entrepreneurs learn and leaders learn. And if there's issues in those systems, right, that's how we get things done and sustain ourselves. So you've got to pay attention to those systems. And so, you know, wrote that down and uh, we wrote it down in the metronome effect and it's because really to give out the prescription. It's what we wanted to figure out how to do. And then as you continue on uh, coaching and, you know, naively, when you write a book, you know what happens. I wrote a book so people wouldn't call me, but you write a book and people call you. So that's great. I learned more from all of that. And then from there, because of that, you know, you learn more, you collaborate with other coaches, you coach more companies. Uh, a lot of coaches started asking about what's this three hag? What's this three hag you talk about? And I'm like, well, don't you have one? And I was really surprised uh, most people didn't have one or know of one, even though we made up the word, you know, three year highly achievable goal. Um, we used it in our both our businesses that we grew up. Um, and, but it was a thing that others didn't do. And the three hag is the strategy system. So if you think of three hag way as a second book, metronome effect as a first book, it really pulled together the hard edge systems of strategy, execution, and cash, which is beautiful. And, and it's really, you know, what people wanted to know and solve and everybody focuses on the hard edge. When you think now, why did I write metronomics? You know, metronomics is the united system, one united system to grow up your team, your company, and your life. And it's actually quite telling um, because the key to it is, is that, yes, you can solve the hard edge systems, you know, strategy, execution, and cash, and everybody wants to focus in on them, right? Even the session that Pat Lencioni did last night in the growth faculty was about, you know, everyone focuses in on those systems. They're easy, they're tangible. You, you can talk about them all day and nobody wants to focus in on the other systems. And there's four other systems and that sounds complicated, but it's really not because it's about people. And there's a cultural system, a cohesive system and a human system, which provides clarity of expectations on how we play together as a team. And then there's the coaching system, the coach cascade system. And all of that actually helps us build up and everything we're doing, you know, to, to be successful in the execution and cash system, to be successful in strategy, you must have a cohesive, culturally strong team. And they must be connected with, you know, team and plan. So that's why this book now, because I 
I maybe was naive or I maybe didn't think again, we did it, you know, any different than anyone else. Um, but what I've learned in working with the 80 plus coaches, Metronome United coaches is we do do it a bit different. We did do it a bit different and how we layer it in is really human and it's really natural. And it's why, you know, we had the success. It wasn't luck. It was, you know, pure progressive quarter over quarter work the system and progress with what's happening external and internally. So long answer, but that's why, you know, we're writing it down again. And it's, it's a practical prescriptive progression that any, any CEO, any leader can follow and did it, you know, the same reason why we wrote the other ones like that is to actually, you know, here, here's the, here's a solution that works. And that if you follow this, the results are quite impactful. You and know, the human, we, I was going to say the human part is probably the bit that most companies find the hardest. Yes. And what I tend to, what I tend to notice, I could not begin to tell you the amount of times I've seen companies try to rewrite their structure or rewrite their systems to try and accommodate the team. Yes, yes, yeah. And, and you and I have had great discussions around this. And even, you know, as leaders and as coaches, we're human. And so in order to, you know, put the right team in place, you know, you take Jim Collins, right? Right people in the right seats doing the right things. Well, if you lay that out over the system that we've created, this one united system, and we use the word united on purpose because united unites things and people, right? It's, and if we use the word unified, it's only one thing, right? So united was picked very carefully and it's always been picked very carefully because we need to unite people and things. And the things in this case is, you know, your business. And I think the other thing that I found fascinating in, you know, really pulling this out of my head, and I have to say it's one of the hardest things I ever had to do was to write this down, I write this down and work with the team to get it in a way that would be consumable. And so one of the things we wanted to do, because it is practical, because it is human, we just wanted to write it down in a way that, you know, the readers that we've all, you know, I've been there as a CEO, that we could pick up and identify ourselves at different stages and pick it up, you know, in the system, in the quarter, where it is and go, oh, okay, that's what I'm, that's why this is happening. This is what we need to do. And when we're in it, as you know, and on the field and coaching the players on the field as leaders in a business, it's sometimes hard to see it, right? And it's why in metronomics, you know, on one side of it, you know, we wrote it to fill in the gaps, but it also pulling this out and writing the book allowed us to take a step back, both for myself and my companies and for the companies I coach to go, what are the key pieces that must be in place in order for us to get the results that we desire, you know, to win our business Olympics every year? What, what are those? And so we looked at it, we said, yes, this, what we call the compound growth system. That's all the hard edge systems that we talked about in the soft edge and being able to sort of zipper them up together, right? Make them work really well together. That's a piece. But we also, you know, in our research and looking back at all the team development research out there and why teams are successful, you know, one of the pieces is this open playing field. And I relate a lot to sports and I know not everyone does with sports analogies, but the playing field is something I've always related to in business is that if we can put the team on the field, so we see each, one, each other and play together and create that open culture, communication, plan, score, everyone sees it, it makes such a difference. So creating that uh, behavioral accountability is really key. And that's, you know, on the field together. And that happens when any team plays. It doesn't matter what sport you love, watch what happens when a team gets on a field. And then of course, you know, what's the third piece? And it sounds like it's self-promoting, but it's not. It's that I experienced the success of having a blind spot remover to speed yeah. up right, to speed up. I know you know all about this. And having had a coach my whole life as a leader and a CEO, 
you know, I attribute those coaches in that time. I save, you know, a lot of people go, how'd you grow up two businesses and sell them less than six years apart? Like the coach <laughs> gets a lot of credit in that. And it sounds weird, but it's why I coach because I don't want to see others, you know, slow down. I don't want to see you waste time. It's the scarcest thing. So when we think of these three things, you know, why now? It's a 10 years in and, you know, I saw it earlier, but I wasn't able to write it down in a way that was easily consumable, practical for the readers to like find themselves. This progressive system will meet your team, you know, the, your team where they are and you can pick up and keep going, which is really key. It is. And like, like you use the analogy of sport. I mean, you look at football, and I know that you quite appreciate football as a sport. But you look, <laughs> oh, at, <I> do. <laughs> you look at football as a sport. Why do these elite athletes have a coach? For that reason, yeah. that coach yeah. is spending 90 minutes watching yeah. the game and operating in the player's blind spot. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the, the thing that I, in the research that I did, and I looked up what the greatest teams, what are the three things greatest teams have? And it was pretty interesting because I looked at, I looked up this research after we had done the piece. And the, the three things is one, a repeatable structured system process for the whole team. Okay, that's, that's any team, right? Sports, and if you look at the most successful teams out there, they have that. They have this open culture on the playing field, right? So they, you know, cohesive, all the things we know around the people, they're committed to it. They're committed to the team results. And the third thing is an expert coach of whatever the genre is. If it's business, if it's soccer, football, is it basketball, ice hockey? You know, I got to throw that in being Canadian. Um, but any of those, right? It, it's just so critical. Those are the things. And I didn't make that up. That's what the research shows. And we know that when you win your business Olympics every year, you don't, you know, you don't go, okay, great. Got the system, got the field, see you later. Like that just doesn't happen. And it's why that you know, why this book now is because if you can find this, you know, structured, practical, repeatable system and you can get it in place, you'll forget about the system, right? The system will set you free to focus in on your business, right? And get the time back, less dollars invested to grow, all the things that we're all, you know, that's the holy grail. That's what we're looking for. Now, when's the release date for the book? The release date as of today, it's on the wires, June the 1st, June, June the 1st, 2021. And it's the same month I went into uh, my coaching practice. So are you telling me that we're going to be doing our webinar the day after you're yes. releasing your book? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that timing? Yeah, you're in launch week. Fantastic. So yeah. if you were to, so to the audience today, what are going to be the couple of takeaways they're going to get a, from getting the book and B, joining the webinar. Yeah, so from, uh, from reading the book, it's going to really unpack a lot of things that you've been thinking about and experiencing and going, I know what the what is. I, I've read, like, I've read so many business books. I understand the what, but I don't know how. You're going to get the how, step by step quarter by quarter, system by system. It's written that way so you can break it apart. It is all down, follow the prescriptive system. So that's what you're gonna get from the book. From the webinar, you're gonna get a lot more uh, color on the how. So really, you know, yes, okay, great, got the book. But you know what? You still need to understand how the pieces connect together and really hear some of the, some more stories on how it works. And so you're gonna walk out with a good action plan from the webinar of what you need to do next. As I said, the, the system meets you where you are. I wanna make sure you know where you are so you know what to do next. Brilliant, thank you, Shannon. Well, I'm so looking forward to the 2nd of June. I think it's gonna be absolutely yeah, awesome. Me too. If anything resonates for you, you want to ask any questions, you wanna get in touch, talk about metronomics, Head over to Borka.com, get in touch. 
Once again, Shannon, thank you very much for coming to the studio. And remember everyone, failing to learn is learning to fail. Please stay safe. And once again, thank you, Shannon. You're welcome.